it's time to have a little fun. We're gonna go ahead and open this up, go through what's in the box. Well, there it is, the One Wheel XR. So we got a couple cool stickers. We got the instruction book. Uh, welcome to the ultimate riding experience. Future Motion, they, they gave me a whole bunch of business cards. Those cheesers. They gave me at least 20 business cards I would imagine to hand out when people ask me all about their, what a good business model that is, I guess. Wow, oh boy, that thing is heavy. I guess you all kind of probably realize that if you're watching these, they weigh a lot. The bear, one wheel with no accessories. I have ordered bumpers for this, for the front and the back. I've ordered the fender that goes over the top of this. That Those will be here in a couple of days. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button and see what happens. So we've got the power button. Now we need to sync it to the app. So it's searching for it. Connecting. Zero percent. Thirty percent. Battery info. We're gonna go ahead and plug this baby in before we do anything at all on it. Get it fully charged up. In an attempt to not kill myself the very first time I tried it after, we're gonna do it down here in the grass field. 10 year old daughter, give it a whirl first. So it'll be interesting to see how we do and how this goes. All right, so we're gonna go over some basics. Your right foot goes on the sticky stuff. Yep. Now you see the blue line? Okay. So there's a pressure sensor under here and there's a pressure sensor under here. So your foot needs to land so it's on both, okay? Put your foot on this side and you're not and you're just gonna lean on and you put your weight back on that side. Here's where you can use my hand if you want. Other hand, other hand. And you commit to leaning forward. Okay. Put your weight on the front foot. Uh, there you go. Okay. So you just lean forward. Okay. It's really important. It's really important. It's really good we were on wet grass because the wheel spun out. When you go to get off, you need to lift your heel up and put your toe down. So go and put your back foot on, put your toe right here and your back feet, okay? Now hold my hand. Now don't go anywhere, but when you lean forward, you're gonna get up, it's gonna balance. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up your heel and you're not gonna take your toe off. And when you lift up your heel, the back of the board's gonna fall back down just like that, okay? Keep going, okay. Now lift up your heel, bend your knee. See, see how easy that was? Mm -hmm. Do you want to? Try two more times with my hand and then do it by yourself. Now bend both knees, and jump forward. Use your toes, use your toes and jump forward. Jump forward. This is, these are two ways you gotta learn to do it. Jump forward. Count of three. One, two, three, jump! Nope, nope, I can't. Jump. Just like that. So those are the two ways to get off. You're doing way better than dad's gonna do, I guarantee it. All right, put your heel down, put your heel down, roll a couple feet forward and try stopping again. The, the more you move, the better you'll be. If you're moving, it's easier to balance. So those wobbles you got will go away when you start moving forward. The faster you go, the easier it gets. America's Funniest Home Videos, here we go. You did it wrong. <laughs> I did it wrong. <laughs> well, this is our first go around on pavement, so we'll see how this goes. wobbly feeling you don't you want to take one foot off put your foot up a little bit more if you bring this so take that foot off and bring this other foot right up here there you go. Put this one right there yeah. don't you don't get to use my hand to get on don't know dad no dad take your heel off perfect Don't use my 
my hand. Okay, so I have now been riding this thing for <laughs> half an hour at most. Uh, we have 1.2 miles on it total between my daughter and I, and we've used 18% uh, of the battery so far. Initial impression. Watch a whole bunch of videos on how to get on and off the thing before you go try to ride it. That's one of the biggest things. Practice getting on and off before you try to ride it. The heel thing for me, lifting up my heel is still uncomfortable. I, I have a tendency to hop off instead when I get unbalanced. Most important things are practicing both ways to get on and off. I will say that I had I wished I had waited for my fender to show up and the guard, the rail guards um, and the front and back bumpers. Which, by the way, I ordered both this and the, the fender, the rail guards, and the front and back bumper from Future Motion. They need to get on top of their stuff. I, re I highly recommend just going down to a dealership and picking one of these up because it, you're going to pay less because you're not paying for shipping if you would expedite or for whatever reason. It's going to be in stock. You're going to get it right away. One of the biggest things that, for me, I live in a rural area and I have to drive to work. I can't ride this to work. I have, I have a SIP freeway I have to go down. Obviously, this isn't going to cut it on there. There's no other alternative for me. Uh, so this is going to be purely for entertainment value. And uh, at 2200 which is about what I've spent on this so far. That's a lot of uh, entertainment value, right? Uh, a lot of money for entertainment. It is fun, and I suspect if you had people to ride with and you weren't just getting it for yourself, for entertainment value, it would be more fun. Several folks I've watched online talk about getting in groups and riding with other people, which I, I think I may investigate. Uh, but the biggest thing for me is I'm gonna get my daughter one eventually, shortly, hopefully. couple of things I definitely noticed right off the get-go. A fender is an absolute must. I will say that I have practiced carving a little bit. Uh, several folks said that it, uh, carving as you're riding faster uh, helps you reduce wobble and shake, which is, this definitely has shake, even at low speed. I've only got this thing up to like 5.9 or 6 miles an hour, and it's I can still feel that shake begin, and carving seems to reduce that shake. Uh, the other thing is relaxing, forcing yourself to relax your hips, your knees, and your ankles kind of getting into a more relaxed, less, much less rigid form really, really helps. Overall, it's pretty fun though, I, I gotta say. It's been, so that's kind of my first impression. Bump over the bump. Boom, look at that, down the hill you went. All right, heel back. Yeah. You gotta turn. I know. Stopping is not turning. <laughs>